European Tribunal of Justice has a huge, a huge influence of each of kind country who has joined the European Union. European Tribunal of Justice came to existence in 1952. However, a few years later, some new ideas came out as far as the European Union has been growing. Since 1989, we could have noticed tendency to bring out into the court many different cases. Climate was not always uh, a country. Uh, there were many situations which made us to believe uh, that uh, the general court, uh, which was created in 1989, uh, is necessary to uh, to good uh, uh, research and help uh, the, the Tribunal of Justice to work properly. Uh, then in, in 2007, EU had created a civil service tribunal. This is a kind of uh, tribunal of uh, European officials, employment tribunal. Each of EU member has a presentation in the European Tribunal of Justice. Polish representant is a former chairman of Tribunal of, of Constitution, Marek Seifan. There are 25 jails women. There are not extra position tribunal and they have also an influence to work on tribunal. Each of them give an opinion to tribunal in the, uh, in the event that we have questioned by the judges. From 2004, Polish jurisdiction system has came through various changing, uh, changes with EU brought into each structure of country. Uh, that was the reason why uh, we, we have to change a lot in our law. Uh, for instance, civil code uh, has been changed to, to protect consumers. As we know, EU members have the same problem in their everyday existence. Poland's, Poland was not an exception. In my lecture, I will try to present the most important and famous examples of the impact of European law on judiciary, on domestic law and judiciary. Uh, first of cases which I present you is a European case uh, from 1964, Flamingo Costa against NL. This, that was the first time when we hadn't, uh, haven't had a real answer. For a few questions we have been asked by the Italian court. It is necessary to ask about European law it, uh, if court uh, think that everything is uh, clear. In fact, the serious problem, uh, this is a serious problem because all uh, of us know that not always an interpretation of European law is overlapped with national interpretation. The European Court of Justice used an all Roman sentence to solve this problem. Clara non sunt interpretanda. However, uh, even uh, now, we could notice the domestic jurisdiction system used more narrow interpretation than European. The second question was if an international uh, contract could give rights and obligations to the natural person of legal entity, which could be used in dispute in, <coughs> in our going to, uh, in a member country. It seems to be easy, but in fact, it is not. Uh, as I said, European call or justice is a little bit too flexible. That is the reason uh, of, uh, of their uh, opinion. They have a uh, rule that uh, the, there are two different kinds of powers. One of them gives rights and obligations for legal person of, uh, or natural person, or the other uh, one not. Each case should be taken in consideration separately. However, the most important is the European Court of Justice has ruled uh, that none of procedure and unlawful acts could be uh, incompatible uh, with European law. We should deduce a simple conclusion. It is possible uh, because superior to European law of the domestic regulations is a reality which have to live with them. How, uh, uh, however, uh, the next cases which I 
chose and my presentations uh, are from Poland. Uh, in our country, we have a trouble now of constitution, uh, constitution uh, and they uh, normally uh, take into consideration our domestic law with, the con with our constitution. And if uh, the domestic law is not proper constructed, uh, we could uh, bring in to the, the tribunal. But the first one, when a tribunal of uh, constitution bring into the court the uh, European law, was very exciting for us, I have to admit. Uh, the first of them is touching uh, the, uh, this crisis primary law with the national law. That was a common problem. When countries join into European law, uh, European Union and have to adopt a key accommodator. In 2001, European Union was signed agreement about a European arrest warrant. That agreement was inconsistent, not only with uh, Polish constitution, but countries like Germany or Great Britain has the same problem as far. The problem is very specific because each of those countries has a an absolute prohibition of extradition of their citizens. Poland had has to change constitution because tribunal said that extradition and de deliverance, deliverance of citizens is, is the same, even though protests, the, the protests take uh, place only in other protests have the place only in other country of the European Union. This case is so extremely significant, and this is type of international agreement, uh, both on notation about prohibition and ex of extra extradition and notification about welfare and international agreements have placed in Polish constitution. Legal norms are so contrary with forfeit one of bridge another norm. In this case, constitutional tribunal in Poland assumed that the most uh, appropriate authority to find a solution for this kind of problem is Ministry of Justice, because we, uh, in our uh, law, we have to wait 18 months, uh, months to, to solve, solve this problem, and it, will, it was too time-consuming to, uh, to do this in, in that uh, construction. However, the norm was changed, and, and uh, after 18 months, uh, was, uh, we, we have changed our constitution. The second and, uh, one involves problems with the law made by European Union institution. Decree 44 uh, for, from 2001. According to this directive, the judgment with, was issued by another member of the uh, country of the European Union are the treated as the same good as national judgments. The country uh, where a sentence is needs to, to be handled, place of residence, the, this definition begins from the domestic law. Generally, this affects civil and commercial law issue, uh, but also exists a specific system in which we could distinguish. The first of all is a uh, first where was subject of con uh, conducting is agreement. The second was elementary issues, and the next one and the, the last one was the matters was where subject is responsibility for co communicating an uh, illegal act, according to claimant inability to take part in decision of first instance court was obvious breach of the constitutional freedom. Constitutional tribunal in Poland assumed that uh, submission has a far-reaching impact from this form of conduct has also taken place in Polish legal system. The main aim of the form is protection and strange affection of, uh, affection of law. Purpose of uh, European legal art was uh, quite similar. Uh, the main purpose of this was to equalize uh, rights and opposite interests as well. This was in, uh, so important judgment because it was the first time when Polish tribunal has an opportunity to speak on, uh, on the subject on influence of European law system of our national law. The judgment broke the ice and led the tri tribunal constitution rule to those kind of cases. 
Moreover, at the beginning, tribunal did not has a competence to do. Tribunal of European Tribunal of Justice has, in fact, incredible impact of uh, uh, national jurisdiction. Even though we couldn't notice in, in our everyday lives, I think we should. I wish. Uh, I wish uh, we could think about it in our. Uh, in our country because uh, even though we, th we think that we have an influence for our law, in fact is the, is the European uh, Union and especially European Court of Justice has it as far. Thank you very much for your attention.